Oh, you just know when an apology video opens with 10 seconds of silence and a ukulele, it's going to be great. And, and you know what? More importantly, probably 100% sincere. <laughs> I, I swear to God, when YouTubers get big, they do one of two things. They either become predos or they have a bad rap career. And I promise you guys, if I ever get that big, it, it's going to be the rap career. 100% full send. It'll be terrible, but it'll be better than this. What's crack a lackin' everybody? It's your boy Thundros coming at you with another commentary video and today we're making fun of a terrible apology song because, you know, it's not enough to just go on a camera and go, listen, about these allegations. No, woman had to come out here with a ukulele and really dig deep. Listen, it's basically a mental breakdown and I'm not usually fine making fun of mental issues, but given the, um, Allegations, I, 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 you know what, my conscience is pretty clear. I mean, we, we went through this with Mini Lad, so yeah, uh, kick back, relax, and enjoy, and let's make fun of this terrible, terrible video. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Quite. She, she said quite. I feel like most people would have just said it in the affirmative. People are saying things about me that aren't true. But she, she said quite. Which implies there's some truth to them. Anybody else a little scared here? Doesn't matter if it's true though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? You guys having fun? I didn't even cut from like the last clip to this clip. She just immediately went into audience gaslighting and Possible victim blaming. Like, oh, you know, it doesn't matter if it's true. It, it kind of does. Especially to the parents of a 12-year-old. Like, what? Yeah, 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 it doesn't matter. I mean, I just talked up a few kids online. I mean, people barely, you know, get punished for that. It's, it's barely a crime. All aboard the toxic gossip train. You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station You know, I, I love that we have such a great role model here to tell us about how almost everything on the internet is a lie with zero motivations for the reason except she's currently being accused of a crime you know it just occurred to me though if it weren't for the weird opening this would be a great song to sing to the senior citizens and the boomers not everything on the internet is true watch out for the toxic gossip like perform this at nursing homes please uh hi everyone i've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So my team said I shouldn't talk about it, but they never said I shouldn't sing about it. Yay! Loopholes like Miranda Sings people coming out here with this 300 IQ play. Like, girl, your team and your future lawyer hates you. I, I promise. Because of this woman, there's someone out there on a legal team screaming, get her off the internet, please. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way. In my experience, creeps and losers tend to be the same thing. So uh, excuse me if I need a little more explanation than that. Like, you can't just say, I, I used to message my younger fans, but, but, but not in a creepy way, like, you didn't have any adult friends? Oh my god, I'm asking Chris Hansen questions. Okay, but is there like a non-creepy way for you to do that? Like, were, were you just sliding in their DMs like, hey, how'd you like my last video, kiddo? Like, it's, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how you did this in a way that wouldn't be perceived as trying to get attention from children. Please shut up. I was just trying to be besties with everybody. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, Ugh. 
Colleen's really out here like, yeah, I was out here DMing children on the daily and trying to compare it to just being the weird aunt. Like, that. first of all, that analogy does not sound as good as you think. In fact, you sound like the kind of family member I'd be like to my kid, do not talk to me or my child ever again. And, and just second, stop. She, she's been doing this for years, apparently, and, and no one's like, oh, man, she's talking to my 10-year-old. That's kind of weird, where they just like, oh, you know, I mean... My kid's getting DMs on Instagram, but it's from a celebrity. I'm sure it, it just makes them really down to earth. Like, were people uh, okay with this? Were they aware of this? Were, well, someone explain this to me, please. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. I didn't have common sense, and I didn't want to be held accountable for it, because I apparently didn't understand, and you should all just forgive it. Uh, yeah, no, that doesn't sound as good as you think. You know what the really sad part is? Uh, personally, I've never been a fan, but looking through the comments of this video, and, and don't get me wrong, there's some pretty funny ones, like someone being like, like, I'm from Hawaii and you are no longer allowed to touch the ukulele, but you have a lot of people just like, listen, you've made us laugh for years, but please take some accountability. People don't want to see this happen, and she's just like dodging responsibility like she's got ultra instinct. Like, girl, you screwed up. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. And is that accountability with you? Like, d d for my viewers, I don't think I've heard her say sorry once. And I mean, it, if you want to take responsibility, just apologize. Really. I I'm pretty sure it's that easy. It it's not going to go over smoothly, but it would help. Maybe it's just me, and uh, I'm a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm by no means a, a PR manager, but maybe not blaming the public, just just saying sorry. I feel like it'd be a lot easier. Just like ten times easier. Like I don't know what this is, but it, it feels more like shooting yourself in the foot over helping your situation. So yeah. Seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes, and it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh. Her response could be summed up as, Everyone's already made up their mind about me, so I've already made up my mind about them. They do it, I'm gonna do it, and that makes me in the right. It's like when you used to slap one of your older siblings and then get mad when they slap you and be like, Mom, they slapped me! And then they'd be like, well, he slapped me first, and she's just like, well, oh well. She really walked in here like, I'm gonna tell everyone the facts. I am going to set you guys straight, and then just completely blamed us for everything she did. I'm sorry I did something stupid, but you guys can't be mad about that. Like, are you crazy? That's so insensitive of you. This woman is not passing the vibe check. Like, she, she's just, she's just not the vibe. I thought you wanted me to take accountability, but that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. You know, it's funny you bring up monetization because, I mean, this video alone has gotten millions of views and probably gained you a ton of revenue. So, uh, I'm sorry you did something terrible and now get to make money off of doing something terrible and nobody else can do that. You're like, listen, I'm the one that first made money off me being a terrible human being and nobody else gets to gain that. That, that is my thing. Mine. I'm just impressed at her mental gymnastics, the way she's trying to twist and contort this to make it seem like she's the victim here. Like, my God, the ego on this woman. Yeah, um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that all of you are perfect. So she's aware she's being fake. She, she is acknowledging that she is being fake, but still trying to gaslight us, project on us. Oh, everyone's gonna think I'm a manipulator, a gaslighter. I can already see where you guys are gonna go with this. Yeah, because you are! Like, she is not passing the speech checks here. Like, she's trying to play masters with rookie skills. Like, calm down. Just 
just, just stop for five seconds and really think this through. For the love of God, your lawyer hates you. Her whole team has to feel like Twitter employees just having to sit there and watch the CEO tank the entire business like. I just wanted to say that um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer, I'm just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans and I'm not a predator even though a lot of you think so. Yeah, she's not a predator because she said she's not a predator. You know who else said they weren't a predator? Jeff Sokol, Lauren Armstrong, uh, Jesse Velez, and you know what they all have in common? They're all predators. I feel like making a whole song about not being a predator is a great way to signal everybody that you might be a predator. I'm not saying she is, I I'm just saying there is such a thing as protesting too much. Sometimes people make mistakes simply because they made a mistake. And that mistake doesn't make them a terrible human. It just makes them a human. But what do I know? I mean, if your mistake is being a predator, then uh, yes, you're a bad person. I feel like she's trying to throw a mattress in front of a crashing car, like, you're not gonna soften the blow here. The collision is happening. You did a bad thing. You can't just be like, I mean, how bad is it really? But yeah, we're at the end of her uh, uh, apology video and not a single time did she say sorry. Just a lot of, it, it's all our faults and I, I, I did nothing wrongs. So, Take that any way you uh, wish, people. I seriously can't believe apology song is a thing that has now happened in, in the year 2023. She really thought she could just sit here with a ukulele like, I did nothing wrong, and everyone was just gonna be like, damn girl, we're on your side. Anyways, I know this video was kind of long, so uh, if you're still here, super duper appreciate that. And if you like my content, like and subscribe to the channel, because uh, I put out commentary videos every week. Along with that, I put out other kinds of content, but I think I'm going to be moving that to another channel and just make this one commentary-centric. As usual, though, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe. And until next time, this is Thundros signing off.